Welcome to RPG Maker News. I'm your host Salik, and in today's news we have an enemy battler of elder things and a shogat from Cthulhu mythology by Uji Masala, a character art of a twin tail female by Gatago Focus, a male nurse by Nia Hoya. A person in a Chinese dress by Akino Kosame. Cyberpunk fighting, a quest game with fighting elements about a street fighter Leroy in a cyberpunk world. More heroine character generator parts by Jikun Soft and Komodo. An MV plugin by Raziel H that allows highlighting events in the game with the press of a key. An MZ plugin by Noon that implements a gauge in battle that is shared by both the ally party members and the enemy group. An MZ plugin by Mughal Rampage that changes font size for only the gauges and damage pop-up numbers. And an MZ plugin by Hakuen Studio that displays a picture when selecting items, skills, or equipment. An asset pack of Dark Miko user interface elements by Wenrexa. A voice pack of a deep sounding male by It's Sampai. A Talsat pack of fantasy meals by Purami and Gotcha Gotcha Games. A Talsat of Jungle Ruins and Desert Ruins by Blue Carrot 16. And lastly, an article tutorial by Avery on making round tower tiles. That is all for today. And now I have an announcement to make. From today, I will put out only one RPG Maker news video every week. It will be on the same day and around the same time as when this video came out. So late Thursday or early Friday, depending on your time zone. Now this is only for video news one video per week. I will also be doing text news every single day. I will look for news daily, then throw the links in the community tab of this YouTube channel. And also in a dedicated channel in my Discord server. And then I will showcase the week's worth of news on Friday in video. Does this make sense? daily news and text that you can find in the community tab or on my discord and weekly news and video. Now go back to game making.